Um, I have this beautiful dresser behind me. I bought it like this. You can't see the full thing in the picture. It's a big mirror that goes up. You'll see it uh, later, but I wanted to have it zoomed in so you can see what we're doing. It's kind of plain. It's beautiful, but it's kind of plain. When I bought it, it was already white. I just felt like it needed a little bit more. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be using the roses mold. Um, it's gorgeous. It has different sizes of the roses. It has the big. It has mediums. And it has the full blooms. And then it has some of the little... Just some of like the little buds. The buds come in three different sizes. Let me show you. Do, 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 do. So those are the buds. Um, now, sometimes when you put the molds on, you put them on and then you paint the whole dresser and then you go, and it's all just blended together. Well, I was thinking that it just needed a little pop of color. So I was playing and here's one example. I did this one. Let me see if I can get a little closer so you can see. So it's like hot pink. I just used some mica powder in the mold and then some green down here. But then when I put it up here, I just thought that, let me see. I just thought that that was too bright, too much. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do more. Whoopsies. I broke it, the air dry clay. The stem wasn't dried all the way. Um, what we're going to do today, though, is we're going to use some muted colors. Um, I have an example to show you, but then I'm going to show you how we get it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use, here is the big rose. So see this on here? Now look at that. It's more muted. And then we have the greenery, the vines, and that's going to be in a green. Look at that. So it's going to be a little bit more neutral, a little bit more warm, not as bright. Of course, you can do whatever color you want, but these are the colors that I chose. So let me just show you up close. See, so this is a brown and then this is a green. So let me show you how to get this look. And then we are going to play. I kind of have it laid out. I'm going to put some on this first drawer here and then I'm going to put some at the bottom of the mirror and then I'm going to put some up in the upper right hand corner of the mirror. And that is what we have for today. Hello, Diana from California. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to put on some gloves because the medium I am going to be working with today uh, is kind of dirty. And I want to make sure, I don't want to get it all over my fingers. I'm a very messy crafter and I'm going on vacation on Wednesday and I don't want to have brown stuff all over my fingernails. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to use something called just an antiquing gel. And this is in brown. Hi, Shannon. Ooh, Irene from Delaware. Is it cold up there? Um, we're doing the roses and antique brown, and then we're going to do the leaves and stems, a olive green color. So I'm going to get both of them out, and I'm going to just show you how easy it is to tint. Um, so let's start with this one. Here's just some leaves. Hey, Barb. And I'm going to take my, just a regular old brush, and I'm going to be using the green. So let me come up close. So I'm just simply brushing it on, getting into all the amazing details that these molds have, because you know, IOD, they don't do anything the easy way. They have it all perfectly detailed. The leaf has so many vines, lines, what are they called? Um, yeah, I think they're called veins in the leaves. All right, so let me get that. So I could leave it like this, but nah. I'm gonna take my little rag, just a cotton rag, and I'm just going to lightly wipe or dab off. And then look what we have. Look at those leaves. Look how beautiful. And they're muted, so they're not gonna be as bright green as say grass or anything, but they're just muted. So it's going to look appropriate on this dresser because the, the white is very bright and stark. So I'm going to put these down here to dry. Um, I have some more leaves, so I might as well go do all the leaves. Now, I used on here the quick dry resin. 
because I knew on this video if I was trying to make a million air dry clay vines and roses and rosebuds that we would be here all day. So I figured if I just went ahead and cast them in uh, the resin real quick, well, not real quick because I still had to pour it, let it dry. But these will be easier to um, just stick up real quick. And I didn't have to totally wait for them to dry. All right, so here's another leaf. And I'm just gonna again dab it with my rag. Now, let's say that I put this on and when I'm wiping it back, I took too much off. All I need to do is simply just go ahead and I can reapply a little bit more and dab it off again. All right, so I'm gonna put this up here because I have already laid out a certain layout in some areas, so I wanna make sure that I keep it. <laughs> All right, a couple more leaves. Now, this section over here, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna lay it out, so you all are gonna help me with that. I do know how I'm gonna lay it out here and, oh shoot, and up on the top. But anyway. Uh, let's see, I have a question, I'll put it on the screen. And it says, Irene says, question, do you have to prime uh, the IOD before you paint it? Um, well, depending on what kind of product you're using, like chalk paint will stick to anything. Um, if you're using the air dry clay, you can go ahead and paint right on it. Now this is the resin and the medium, the uh, antiquing gel that I'm using, you do not need to prime. It sticks. Thank you for that question. Oops, let me take that off. Oop. Okay. So I have some more leaves. I'm going to do a couple more leaves. And then we're going to go ahead and do our roses. Now, you might think, why is she doing roses brown? But you know what? It just looks nice. Um, and if I want to, I can add a little bit more detail over it. Because what this antiquing gel is doing is it's putting it in basically into the cracks. It's tinting the whole thing. But it's really, really, really staying in the cracks. So I can come, or I could say, I could say valleys. So I can come back over it on top with something to do the peaks to give it a little bit of dimension. I did do one thing. I'll show you in just a second. But it kind of totally changed the look that I was going for. But I'll, I'll show it to you. Let me just dab this one off. Now see, see how it just gets into the crevices? or the valleys. Now the parts that stick up are called the peaks, so you could definitely put something on those. Let me show you what I did here. I used the antiquing gel, and then I put some gold gilding on top. So it makes it a little bit two-dimensional, well, more dimensional because you have the underlying color and then you have the gold on top. I did the same thing with the rose, which I thought was really pretty, but it's not the look that I'm going for on this piece. So I have the antiquing gel, and then I have some gilding wax on top. Isn't that beautiful? On the right piece, this would be gorgeous, but it's just not this piece. I could still go back and add uh, maybe something not so bright like that gold, maybe a little bit of bronze, but we're gonna do this first. All right, hi. <laughs> um, let's see, I am going to now, I'm gonna do one more leaf and then we're gonna go ahead and do our brown roses. No, they're not dead, they're just muted. <laughs> ah. So. Give me a uh, thumbs up or something on the screen if you are super, super excited about the new release. I have seen and I am in love and you will, you guys will love it too. If you haven't heard, the new release will be February 14th, 8 a.m. I'm assuming it's Pacific time because they're in California. There we go. We got our last one dabbed off. Now we can proceed to the brown ones. Um, I have one more leaf here, but we, we might not use that. If I need to use it, we'll antique it later. Now we're going to go to the brown. This is just an antique gel. You just take your brush and you stick it on. It is water-based, so it's easy to clean up. Let me get up here a second. And see how it just goes. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. The antique and gels, they come in all different colors. They have turquoise and green and everything, but I just wanted this to be muted. Look how pretty that is. And it's the same 
just like the green, you're just going to dab it off. Just so. Or wipe. You can dab, wipe, whatever you want to do. And then look. It just stays in the valleys or the crevices of the piece just to show the dimension. And we've got a bunch of these little guys to do. Here is a little bud on the roses mold. There are all different sizes of the roses, like I said. But definitely messy, so if you have gloves, wear them. If not, it is water-based, but it's just easier because I am quite messy, and I'll have it everywhere. All right, and now let me show you this one. This is like a full, full bloom of the rose. It's kind of hard to see in the camera because of the bright lights, but once I put the antiquing gel on it, watch it pop. You'll really be able to see it once I dab or wipe it off. And I'm using a brush because it helps get into the crevices of the roses. Now look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> there we go. See how beautiful that is? Wow. All right. Okay, I see some, some thumbs up. That means people are excited about the new release. Okay, let's see. We've got this one here. Now look at this ginormous. This is a big rose. Look how big this one is. This one is gorgeous. But you'll be able to see it pop a little bit more once I get this antiquing gel on here. Whoops. Again, the antiquing gel is water-based, so easy cleanup. Brush is on easy. I'm trying to go a little bit fast just so you're not watching me paint the roses all day long. Okay. <laughs> now look at that detail. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? All right, just a few more roses and then we're going to start decorating. I have seen people use um, molds and put it over the entire dresser. It's absolutely gorgeous. But for this piece, I didn't think it needed that much. I can always go back and add more. This is, I just wanted to be um, just soft and just enough. And there's a little bud. Isn't that pretty? And the nice thing is if I accidentally get a little bit of this on the dresser, I can clean it up real quick because it is water-based. But I think I'm doing okay so far. <laughs> All right, a couple more. I want to do one more big one. But look at that. You can't even really see. Oh, there we go. You can see the detail in this angle. The light's kind of bright. But you really, really, really see it when you put this antiquing gel on it. And you can actually mix colors. Like I could take the antique gel, I could put a little bit of the green in here too and just mix them. But again, I just want it to be simple, simple, warm, yet different. Okay. I have a question on the screen. I'm going to pull up just a second. Okay. Dab it, dab, dab. I can dab or I can wipe. Just depends on how much you want to take off. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Love, love, love. Okay, let's see what this question is. Do you sell and ship IOD? I'm in Tennessee just learning and watching. I'm excited for a new crop. Absolutely. And in my comments below on this um, video is a list of all the online retailers, or you might even have a local retailer. So I highly encourage you to click that link. And um, see if you have any local. But if not, yeah, we all ship. Or most of us ship. Anybody on that list ships. <laughs> okay. Ta-da. 
All right, I'm gonna do one more up here and a few little buds, just because the buds, you can we can sprig off the leaves and it just add a little bit more detail. Yes, I do, because you get some, don't you? You order from me. <laughs> but yeah, the um the list for the all the online retailers is in the comments. So you might even have a local one you could go into the store and actually touch it all and look at it before you purchase. There are a lot of us retailers around. All right, now just a few more of the little guys. Just because these little guys, see that? They add so much little little detail when you're because if you've ever if you've ever seen rose bushes there are always these little buds sticking out and that just to me it represents um new new life growing and here's a bigger one let's do this one see this is why you wear gloves look at my fingers <laughs> i could do it like on you know brown paper on the table but And because I'm wiping a lot of it off, you won't even really see fingerprints on the sides. There we go. Look at that. Look at that bud. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful bud? Look at the detail. Oof. Okay, a few more, and then we're going to get decorating. little guy so there's a small a medium and then the big one I just did let's do one more again I can always come back and do a few more if I need to I did cast a lot of them and I have some IOD clay handy and ready if I need to make any more molds plus the difference between the resin and the uh, air dry clay is the clay is beautiful because if you need to go bend it around a corner or something you can put the clay in, pull it out paint it real quick and then glue it on and you can bend it and it'll dry back like that. With the resin, you can't really do it unless you pull the, the resin out of the mold a little bit early and just kind of bend it. I did do that with a stem because this is a, this is the, how the stem comes in the mold, but I took it out a little early and I bent it just in case I wanted a bent flower because I don't think all of them stand perfect because sometimes they get a little top heavy and I think they bent. I don't know. I don't have any roses rose bushes but all right oh uh, oh i'm sorry no we're not open today sorry i'm sorry i'm filming by my front door and um, some customers came to the door <laughs> um normally i'm in my back room but i wanted i needed to be out here with the big piece of furniture all right so let's get designing and let's get started so i'm gonna pull these gloves off you've seen how messy those are Okay, there are several ways you can get these on. You can use wood glue. You can, I'm going um, I'm to use some heavy body gel. It's just another kind of crafting glue. You can use your pin nailer. Um, let's go ahead and the first one I'm going to put on, I'm going to start here. And I'm going to start with this big guy right here. And I'm going to put the rose right about there. Now, normally, I would be working on this laying down or the drawer out. Well, the drawer, when I pulled it out to do it that way, there's some kind of a um, the guide for the drawer. It doesn't let it sit straight, so I would have knocked it over and over and over and over. So, no, you, I didn't have to prime. Nope. Okay. And you don't have to seal the antiquing gel either. Okay, so I do have my blue tape ready if I want to use it, but I also have my pin nailer ready too. And with the resin, sometimes I just pin nail it and it holds it in place. The only problem with the pin nailer is it doesn't always go all the way through the drawer. So sometimes I either need to, I'll pull it out with um, my needle nose pliers or I'll just take a hammer and hammer it in. I don't have a heavy duty uh, pin nailer. So sometimes, all right, we're going to stick that right about 
there. What do you think so far? All right, so here's my pin now. I'm just going to give it one pin just so it stays in place. All right, so it's staying in place. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the leaves on. Again, I'm just spreading on some. This is just some heavy body gel. You can use wood glue. And I'm sure there's other crafting glue you can use too, but this is this is just my glue of choice. And we're going to stick this like here. Ooh, what do you think with the colors? They're kind of muted, so they're not so bright or hot pink or red. So, so far, it looks like it's staying pretty good without me pin nailing it. I like it. All right, so um, now I have this little rose. This is the full one. And I'm going to stick this one right here. Turn that up just a tad. You can still manipulate them while the glue is not totally dry yet. Irene wants to know if I can show the pin. Absolutely. Because I'm going to use it again right after I put this one on. So there's the rose. I'm going to stick it kind of in there. It's just a Stanley. It does staples and pin nails. I think I paid thirty dollars for it at Home Depot. There we go. Ta-da! So, what do you think so far? Do you like the color choice, or would you have gone with pinks or reds, or what color would you have gone with on this white dresser? Now, if you know anybody that's been wanting to use the resin on a piece of furniture, make sure you share it. Share it with them. Tag them in it. Let them know how easy it really is. I think the hardest part is probably picking the colors. <laughs> All right. So this is just me putting the glue on. And I'm just using a palette knife, spreading it even. I'm using one that's uh, it's glossy, but it'll dry clear. And we're going to go right here. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I like it too. Sometimes when I make stuff, I, <laughs> I like it so much I end up taking it home. <laughs> All right. I think I might just pin nail that one just in case. All right. So that one did not go all the way through it's either because i didn't put enough pressure or because i moved the gun so i'm just gonna i have my little teeny hammer here i'm just gonna hammer it in just a bit there we go perfect okay so now i'm just gonna add the buds here and then we're gonna move on to the upper part of the dresser it doesn't it really doesn't take that much glue And you'll notice I'm not making it a balance. Like I, I have a big rose over here, but I'm not putting a big rose over here. I'm choosing to use the smaller to kind of offset it. There we go. Ta-da. Yay. What do you think? <laughs> All right. So... All right, now we're gonna move up to the top and then you guys will help me decorate down here because I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. So, um, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna switch my camera angle real quick. Uh, it's just gonna be a push of a button, so don't be alarmed. Okay, so you're seeing the reflection, but this is the top of the dresser. And now this is what we are going to be working on. Okay, we're here it is. I had it laid out how I wanted it, and now I forget. <laughs> but that's okay. So we're going to put this probably right about here. And I like the idea of it hanging over. I like that. Um, 
if I chose to use air dry clay, I could have I could bend it and it could stick to the inside of the molding, but I like the way that it sticks out because it sticks out on both sides. Let me see if I can get that down a little bit. There we go. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put it here. Let me get my um, gel and my my gun, my air dry or my uh, nail gun. So here's it up close, and I'm just gonna spread some of this stuff on it with glue. Making sure I get it all over because I, even the parts that might stick off, I just don't know exactly how I'm going to put it on yet. So that's why I want the glue to be everywhere. It'll dry clear, so I am fine. And we're going to stick it probably, let's do it like that. Move it down just a little bit. There. Can you see that? I'm going to hold it just for a second, and then I'm going to get my pin nailer, and we're going to pin nail that in. Um... Or maybe I should, let me just see if this is going to work because I really don't want to pin nail it because um, I'm not sure how far that mirror goes behind it. I really don't want to break the mirror. <laughs> yeah. oh. All right, so let's go ahead and do some leaves. I don't know where you all are, but here in Florida, whew. It's hot. Though the mornings have been absolutely beautiful. It's been, I think, like uh, upper 60s. All right, so we're going to put this little line here. Look at that. So this gives you a better angle of like the colors and how it looks on this white. I'm just going to hold it. It seems to be staying pretty good. <laughs> All right. Going to be putting on, let me show you up here. You see that? Yeah. Again, like I said, I'm a messy crafter. Look at that. <laughs> Sometimes it's because I'm on camera and I'm just going a little fast, but. And I'm going to put this one here above it. Let me angle the camera up so you can see it. There we go. Now, it's still a little bit bendable, so I'm just going to hold that for a second and hope that it stays on there. It's doing good. And finally, I have... Let's see if I can. I'm going to zoom out just to scotch. There we go. Ooh! I like it. I'm going to do one more bud right there just to finish this off. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put this on and get all the excess off. Let's stick this right in here. Hold it for a minute. Thanks, Brenda. I appreciate that. Thanks, Tina. All right. So there's that part. Now we need to talk about this part. What am I going to do here? So I'm going to move this camera real quick out of the way. And... Um, now I have all all the different parts. I might use we might zoom in. Let's see. There we go. Let's zoom in. There we go. So I have I have this space. I just think it needs it needs stuff. <laughs> so do you think I should put another big one to stay? Stay in uniform with the whole dresser because I do already have a big one on the bottom drawer and a big one on the top. Let me see. Let me get you. Let me do two screens here. Okay, so you see the big one down here? And then there's a big one up top. So I'm thinking that we should probably use another big one. What do you think? A big one and just some vines? Maybe a few buds? Thank you, Judy. 
you know, this was not my original vision of this, but I do like the way it's turning out. I love the colors. It's just something different. Okay, let's go ahead and glue this on. Let's see, what camera am I looking at? Let's do... <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm in the mirror. <laughs> I'm on the camera. I'm in the little screen. All right. Okay, so we're going to put this one on here. And we're going to angle it this way. See that? Hold it for just a minute. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pin nail over here because I know the mirror is not there. And I'm going to take it back to just this one screen. That way I don't have to look at my butt. <laughs> okay. Hold that thought. Let me try that again. There we go. I'm trying not to get in the way of the camera angle, but when I did that, there we go. I leaned and I made the, the rose slide a little bit. Okay, so here is the one rose. Now, I think we need to do a little bit of vines. So vines, let's go this way, maybe with this one. Buds, okay, yeah, we'll do that. Buds with greener. I think we'll do, how about vines like this and then a bunch of buds. I like it. I'm gonna put you up there, Tina. So just getting some glue. I just knocked it off. Must be my pin nail didn't go all the way through. <clears throat> I'm just going to hold it for a quick second. Take Tina down. Oops. Boop, boop. Thank you, Cindy, Cynthia. Hey, Jan. Okay. There we go. On this one here, I removed one of the leaves, um, figuring that I was going to put some of the buds there. So I think it's going to look up, work nice. And all I did was I just bent it and it snapped off when I took it out of the mold. Put this one here. All right, there we go. Look at that. Now I have one, two, three, four different buds that we can use. I have this bud, but I think that bud's too big. So we'll put that over there. Um, I think we're going to, do you think that's too big right there? Or do you think that'll work? I think it's going to work. Or should we put the bigger butt over here? No, I think we're going to put it right there, right, right where I moved that leaf. What do you think? Hey, Paula. That's where I'm going to put it. I know it's a little time delayed, so if you're voting and I didn't see it, I apologize. But it's I don't I think it was like a 30-second to minute delay, so I don't get to see your comment until probably I already have it glued on. Right now, we're going to put fill in a lot of these little buds. Oh, Barb, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> put one here. I'm going to put another one here. These buds are actually really cool. Just something so little can add so much to it. Let me put it right there. Hold it for a second. Now I have one more, and I think I know exactly where I want to put it, but I just got to get this kind of stick. Stay. So I'm thinking maybe 
down there. Let me see if I have a smaller one. There is a little smaller bud. Let me see if I have one. Um, no, we're just going to use this one. But I am going to... I have scissors out here. I was going to cut the... No, because you can definitely cut this stem right here. I don't have scissors, so we're just going to bend it. There we go. So after I get this guy on, I'm going to zoom out. Oh, sorry, I, I dropped it. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to let you see the whole dresser. And then you can tell me what you think. If you think it needs more, it needs less. Or it's just right. Okay, there's that. Ta-da! All right, so far I'm super happy, super excited. Now, I didn't use any of these. I could have. These are stems. And they would have been totally cool to like do like some flowers going outside, but it, it this scheme it just didn't work with it. But I'll definitely keep those for another project. Okay, so let me get back to this one, and we're gonna zoom out so you can see. Let me just get all my stuffy stuff out of the way. All right, so I'll just to scotch now. How was that? Can you see that? Oh, wow. I love it. If there's, I know there's some stuff going on around it, so it's kind of difficult to see. However, you know, I'll always take a picture and I will have it posted. But what do you think? Let me see some of the comments. The rose molds look good on the dresser. They're versatile. Yes, they are. Thank you, Holly. I appreciate that. All right. Well, let's see. I've been on for 38 minutes, so um, I appreciate your time today. And again, if you know anybody that would be interested in learning or how I did this or they're, they're wanting to do it on there, make sure you share it. Or just in general, if you like it and you want to share it, share it with your friends. Um, I'll take some final pictures and we'll post them probably in the tribe. If you're not a member of the Iron Orchids Design Creative Tribe, you should. That's a Facebook group. That's where people share their pictures of the projects that they've made. Um, and don't forget, February 14th, the new release. You guys, be prepared to be amazed. You're going to create and just, its they're amazing. So anyway, you guys have a fabulous day, and thank you for joining me. And again, if you're looking for a retailer, check in my description. There's a link for local or online. Okay, have a fabulous day.